When you think about Ryan's appearance, you probably think of his beautiful blonde hair. In high school, his hair had gotten a little too long. When you're like Ryan and you have beautiful long hair, getting a haircut can be a risky experience. So Ryan's other friends, Roxanne, Nikki, and I suggested to Ryan that we, a group of teenage girls who collectively had zero haircutting or styling experience, give him a haircut. Ryan eagerly agreed. Uh, I remember being apprehensive and asking, are you sure? And Ryan, in his Ryan fashion, assured me that he trusted us. Well, this trust was misplaced. Uh, I ran upstairs to get some additional supplies, and when I came back down, Ryan's hairstyle was already unsalvageable. I honestly don't know how to describe it other than a bowl cut, but worse. Um, I felt terrible, but in Ryan fashion, he assured us it was okay and laughed about it. He even kept his hair cut for a few days until a friend insisted that he buzz it, and rightly so. I take full responsibility for Ryan having to buzz his head in high school. My name is Katie Fuller, and I became friends with Ryan in middle school. <laughs> if we rewind back to seventh grade before we really got close, Ryan was the object of many tween girls' affections, and I was no exception. Although I felt I could never compete against Ryan's travel soccer club girlfriends, one day, <laughs> When on AOL Instant Messenger, I got a message from Ryan, a.k.a. Chick Magnet. <laughs> he, chatted, <laughs> he chatted me asking, will you be my Valentine? Although surprised and excited, I calmly and coolly agreed. He responded with something lines of, along the lines of, awesome, I'm having a competition with my friend to see who can get the most Valentines. <laughs> <laughs> sure enough, I clicked on Ryan's AIM profile button and there was a list titled, My Valentines, followed by the initials of 20 girls with mine tagged onto the bottom. He and I laughed about this story when I last saw him a month ago. <coughs> Ryan and I lived on the same street, so as middle school went on, we started spending more time together and really became just best friends. We went to concerts, saw movies, trick-or-treated, played pickup soccer, rode bikes to 7-Eleven, you name it. While we haven't lived in the same city for the last 10 years, Ryan's willingness to pick up the phone and make a phone call rather than just a, a, a text ensured that we were in sync even if we hadn't seen each other in a bit. Ryan holds a special place in my heart. <laughs> and his physical departure has left a void in me that will never be filled. <laughs> that said, Ryan can continue to live through every person in this room if we perpetuate the values he demonstrated in his day-to-day -day behavior. <laughs> First, be kind to everyone. Ryan defaulted to liking a person when meeting someone new. He asked questions that demonstrated his genuine interest in others. He could make a friend out of anyone, regardless of age or background, and his friendships were both qu quickly formed and deep. Second, let your friends and family know that you love them through both your actions and words. Ryan was naturally caring, generous, and as loyal a friend as I've ever encountered. My brother recalled a memory of Ryan coming to my parents' house to help us spread a huge mulch pile around my yard. If you have ever spread mulch, you know that it takes love and selflessness to be willing to do that, especially without anyone asking. As if his behavior didn't show it enough, he was not shy about saying I love you or verbalizing his appreciation for others. Third, work hard in all that you do, but keep a sense of play about you. In school, Ryan was always making the class laugh. You wouldn't necessarily know that he was also one of the best students in the room. He got injuries in his tree-cutting job, but would take a break to text a silly picture with his battle scars. He let his friends destroy his precious hair, but laughed about it. He had such a playful nature, and I've tried to keep that in mind the last seven days. While grieving is important, he would equally want us to be laughing and sharing memories of him. It may be easy to dwell on the fact that Ryan's life feels cut short, but we must keep in mind that it was also so full. He celebrated sports victories, experienced love, went skydiving, found a passion, started a business, had many quality years with his parents, sisters, extended family, and friends, 
and left an impression on so many that has prevailed against time and distance and will continue to do so. Ryan, I will miss you so much, but I will always carry you with me, strive to be more like you, and smile as I recall our time together. 